guys welcome back to my channel I hope you guys are doing good today so in today's video I have some fun new things to show you guys today I received this ring from this jewelry company called Julia they were kind enough to let me choose a ring off of their website and review it on my channel today so yeah I'm gonna do like a quick little unboxing and show you guys what comes with the ring so yeah, you do get a little gift bag with your order. If you were giving this to somebody as a gift, that's really nice. And you also do get a little booklet that shows you um, some of their other pieces that they have on their website. But they literally have so many things to choose from. And the great thing about this company is that they make individual ring based on your size. So they customize every ring to fit your finger, which I really like because this company carries half sizes and not a lot of companies do that. And each ring or piece of jewelry is made out of nine to five sterling silver. So you know your ring or whatever you're wearing won't tarnish. They also have other things on their website besides rings. They have necklaces, earrings, bracelets, and like they have different themed rings like these little cartoon characters or like the teardrop ring at the bottom, which is super gorgeous. I think that pink ring is so pretty and that tennis bracelet is so gorgeous as well. They also have engagement rings. Um, I notice a lot of people buying engagement rings on their website um, from reading the reviews um, because they're like way more affordable than your normal engagement rings and they're also really pretty. And they also have personalized jewelry um, that you can get as well. And there goes Cheshire Cat. Like I said, they have different themed rings like cartoon characters or like these little like beach theme rings. But yeah, I've been really getting into wearing like rings in my nail photos lately. I just feel like it makes them look so much more interesting. And I actually recently became an affiliate with this company. So I do have a discount code for you guys. If you guys ever shop there, you can use my code to save 15%, which I will leave in the description box along with the links to the ring that I'll be reviewing in the video today. And this little booklet here just shows you like their refund and exchange policy and stuff like that. And also like what items are not refundable. And this is what the um, ring comes in. It comes in this really adorable little box with the black matte packaging and it says Julia in silver on it. So yeah, you know I had to choose the butterfly ring. Um, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know I love butterflies. And when I seen this, I was like, I have to have this. This is definitely a statement piece. I just really love the butterfly ring on one side with the flowers on the other. And I just love how there's a mix of like clear stones and pink stones. You know how much I love pink. And it's like so shiny and sparkly. I just love it so much. And I just love like the design of the ring all together. It is definitely really pretty. So this is the poly gel kit that I received from Babe Nail. This is actually their shimmer poly gel kit and it comes with this really cute little um, pink storage box which I think is so freaking cute. Like I've never seen any other brand um, with a poly gel kit that comes with a storage box. So yeah, you could definitely fit like everything in this kit in the storage box. Plus, if you already have poly gels, you can use this as additional storage, which is really nice. So yeah, it comes with a little removable tray. You also get a mini sun UV LED lamp and it is a USB lamp. So you plug the USB in the back and then just plug it in like that. You also get a 100, 180 grit nail file and a 7.5 milliliter base gel and a top gel. You also get a dual ended gel brush. One side has like your gel brush and the other side 
has the little scraper tool. I really like these brushes a lot. They're really nice for getting around the cuticles and that's the little scraper on the other side. I really don't use that much. I just basically squeeze the poly gel on the nail and call it a day. You also get um, a little instruction booklet. It shows you step by step on how to prep your nails for poly gel application and other like tips and tricks. And you also get a little um, nail art with this kit. It comes with some striping tape. So if you wanted to do a design with that, that's really good. You also get some dual forms. There's a hundred of these forms in 10 different sizes and they look pretty big actually. I've never actually used dual forms. I usually use tips. So yeah, I don't know, maybe one day I will use them um, because I literally have so many of them. But yeah, um, this kit also comes with six different color um, shimmer poly gels. They are 15 milliliter each. And I'll be showing you guys some swatches in a few. But yeah, you get starry white, golden rose, silver rose, golden peach, pure white, and a clear. You also get a slip solution. Um, that's what you would use to move the poly gel around on the nail. And here's what the kit looks like all unboxed with everything in the kit. It is so cute. I'm like in love with this thing. I just think it's so unique and different. But yeah, you definitely have a lot of space with this box. So moving on to the swatches, the first color I'm going to be swatching is called Golden Rose. And I'm gonna be zooming you guys in a little bit more in a minute. I know it's kind of like hard to see right now. And I do apologize about the focus a little bit in this video. For the most part, it was okay, but um, I'm like experimenting with filming on my 4K today and um, trying to figure out how to do the focus on that. I don't know, with this camera, it's kind of like confusing to me. I'm not really used to it, but hopefully I'll get the hang of it eventually. So yeah, the second shade was pure white. The next one was golden peach. Um, the one that I just swatched before this one was starry white. And then we have silver rose and the last one is clear. But I was actually really impressed with the shades in this kit. I thought they were just gonna look like, you know, every other shimmer poly gel kit. But um, I was definitely wrong. They're definitely unique shades. And I really love that golden peach shade. It's just so beautiful and sparkly. I did want to use that one today, but I used the pink because I wanted to match um, the ring. And here's what they look like after they're cured. The clear was actually really nice in this kit. I did review a Babe Nail Poly Gel kit um, from Color Farm and I had an issue with that clear, but this one I definitely didn't. Um, it was really easy to work with. So yeah, you guys should definitely check out this poly gel kit as well. I'll have that one linked down below. But yeah, moving on to the tutorial. Um, as you could see, I filed down my previous set pretty low, um, but I didn't remove it completely, obviously, because I don't want to file all the way down to my nails. Um, like I said in my last video, I'm not going to be like fully taking my nails off like all the time because, you know, I feel like they're getting a little bit damaged. So I want to try to leave them on as long as I can. Plus, I'm literally not even going to be wearing this set for this long because I have other reviews to do. So yeah, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe because I do like tons and tons of reviews. Um, it's really good for people who are looking to like buy products and stuff um, so that you don't have to waste your money. You can just see how it is on my channel and then make a decision from there. So yeah, as always, you're going to want to go in with a dehydrator and primer. I did prep the nails off camera, like I said before. So basically, I did make sure to remove most of the product that I had before on my nails. And I did push back my cuticles and um, stuff like that. And I went in with a dehydrator and two coats of primer and then a base gel. The base gel is going to prep your nails and give the gel something to stick to. Um, the dehydrator and primer I'm using is actually from Babe Nail as well. They sent this to me a while back with their gel polishes. It works pretty good. I've actually been using it a lot lately. So I'll link that one down below if you guys are interested in that. So yeah, I'm going to be using that starry white shade. And I'm basically um, going to be doing like the base on all of the nails. But the main thing here is going to be when I apply the nail art on top. 
but like I said I'm using the pinks because I really wanted to um, match the butterfly ring that I got in today's video and I think I did like the perfect set I think the set that I did really matched the ring really well so yeah I'm just applying this to the entire nail like I said I just squeezed the poly gel right out onto the nail and I basically just squeeze it kind of like out in the form already and then just pat it in place I always start by the cuticle work side to side all the way down to the nail and yeah I just use my brush to smooth the nail out before I go to cure it um, but before I do go to cure I'm gonna be using this little like angel paper that I cut into small pieces this was actually sent to me like as a gift with some like nail decals but you could literally find this anywhere like on eBay or whatever but and I also do think um, Born Pretty has some so yeah I just cut them into really small pieces and I'm randomly placing them on the nail I wanted like that iridescent look in the background when I placed the transfer foils on top <laughs> this nail I'm going to be doing an ombre I'm using that silver rose shade for the tip color so basically you just squeeze out a little bit onto the tip you really don't need a lot I'm actually going to be encapsulating this ombre I mean you could build up the nails with the ombre colors but I prefer to do it this way um, I just feel like I can blend them a lot better with less product for some reason um, but it's really up to you so I am encapsulating these nails anyway, obviously because of the angel paper on the middle finger. So yeah, I just apply the tip color and now I'm going in with the top color and you really only need a little bit for this as well. You don't want to apply too much product because then obviously you're just going to be wasting it. So I just apply a little bead of the poly gel and I always start patting by the cuticle. That's the best way to go. I always say just start by the cuticle and everything goes so smoothly after that so I start by the cuticle and just pat side to side until I get to where the tip and the natural nail meet and then I just kind of like blend that poly gel down into the tip color and yeah it's really that easy and I'm just gonna flash cure after that um, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing on the pointer finger and on the ring finger I'm just doing what I did on the middle finger so yeah, I'll let you guys watch this and I'll be back to encapsulate.
All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and encapsulate the nails with the clear poly gel from the kit. I do wanna mention that I did cure my nails in my big lamp for 60 seconds before doing this. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do that before encapsulating them um, to make sure that the poly gel is fully cured. Um, the flash curing is not obviously going to fully cure them. So yeah, make sure you do that before you go to encapsulate. So yeah, basically to encapsulate the nails, it's pretty much the same process that I do to apply the poly gel onto the nail when I use one color. I just squeeze it out onto the nail already in the form and just pat it in place just like I did for the starry white color um, on the middle finger and the ring finger with the angel paper. And basically you just do the same thing you pat side to side all the way down the nail and if you get to the free edge and you have extra poly gel you can just use the little um, scraper tool to remove that and i will be also flash curing um, two nails at a time
So moving on to the filing, I'm using my fine grit safety bit from a cart to debulk the nails. I always use this um, drill bit in every video. You guys are probably so tired of hearing me say this. But yeah, once I find something that I like and that works for me with nails, I usually stick with it. I'm the type of person like, you know, if it's a working, don't change it type thing. Um, once I get something that works, I kind of just like stick with it. But yeah, I don't know. I might try like some other drill bits one of these days. But this one's been working for me, so I'm going to be using it until then. So yeah, um, I basically just use this just to debulk. I'm going around the cuticle, the sidewalls, over the surface of the nail to smooth it out. Um, I go underneath the nail and I also um, taper in the sides of the nail um, because I don't want to have like too much filing to do with the hand file. And this just helps like reduce the time you have with the hand file. And after that, I am going to be going in with my cuticle bit just to like seal around the cuticle. It's really hard sometimes for me to get around the cuticle with these safety bits for some reason. So yeah, the cuticle bit is really small and it just gives you like a nice clean finish look. If you guys haven't tried a cuticle bit yet, you should definitely try it out. It's just like, it's definitely a game changer, especially if you're having like a hard time sealing around the cuticle. You can like fit into those small areas with these type of bits. Just make sure you're using it on a low speed you don't want to use it on a high speed because you risk like damaging your natural nail and stuff like that After that, I'm going to take the hand file from the kit and shape up the nails. I'm doing a long coffin shape. So as always, I'm taking my hand file and I'm filing straight a couple of times on each side to debulk the middle of the nail. That's going to get most of like that extra bulk off in the middle of the nail. And then I take my hand file and angle it in and file like that a couple times so that um, I can get that nice coffin shape. But you want to make sure you're keeping your file straight at an angle. You don't want to like go off to the side any because then your shape is obviously going to be um, crooked. So yeah, you're going to want to make sure you do that um, so that your shape comes out nice and crisp. I also file the free edge at an angle, keeping my file nice and straight. And I do also go over the surface of the nail a little bit when I'm hand filing just to like further um, like smooth out the nail. After that, I will be going in with my buffer to buff out any scratches. You're going to want to make sure you never skip that step either. Um, especially if you're going to like top coat or apply polish on top of your nails. You always want to buff them first um, to get out any scratches because if you don't, you will be able to see those scratches through like your top coat or your gel polish. To finish up the design, I'm going to be applying this foil gel from a cart to all of the nails because I'm going to be applying transfer foils to them and this is going to give like the nails a tacky base to help the um, transfer foil stick. So basically you apply this to your whole nail and cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. This stuff is really thick so you want to make sure you don't apply it too thick. You really don't need like a whole lot. And after that, I'm going to be taking these little 
butterfly transfer foils that I've got from my local beauty supply store and just placing them on top of the nail. Um, you're going to want to wait like 30 seconds before you do this just for the nail to get like tacky. You don't want to do it like right when they come out of the lamp. And when you do apply them on the nail, make sure that they're flat and all the way on the nail. You kind of want to use your finger to like rub them in so that they transfer properly. Sometimes these things are a little bit funny. They don't transfer all the way. So if you lift it and you still see some of the foil that didn't transfer, you can put it back down and use your finger to rub it a little bit more and then just remove the backing after that. So after I remove the backing from these, I'm just going to be applying the top coat um, from the kit on top of them and then just some stones into the top coat. Um, if you want your stones to last longer, obviously you would want to use like some bling gel or like glue or something. But like I said, I'm not keeping these nails on long, so I'm just applying them into the top coat for now. And I'm not using like any like specific, you know, style or anything i'm just randomly applying the bling but yeah that's really about it for this set um i think it was super cute and it is also a super simple design let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments also let me know what you think of the ring from julia i really want to hear your thoughts and also let me know what you guys think of this poly gel kit from babe now with the storage box and yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I usually post like about my upcoming nail tutorials on there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.